actually, I, I yell at everybody for not wearing their seatbelt. I just need a driver's license in America, actually. He just to be honest with you, I don't, you? I've already won this in court. I know what the words are. He's a lawyer. Are. Okay. God damn it, I'm in the Homeland Security school. Are you guys kidding me? I could, so you I could be your boss in so another so three years. Yeah. It's in the middle of teaching me that okay. this crap is crap. Okay. Welcome back to the Van Valian channel guys. Today we head to Florida courtesy of a new channel called Officer Rogers. So please go subscribe, link is in the description. Where a sovereign citizen couple, specifically the driver, effortlessly turns a simple warning for no seatbelt into a litany of charges. With lots of interesting claims about the law in between. Right, let's get into the video. Hi. Hello. I'm Sergeant Brown, used to PD. The reason why I stopped because you're not wearing your seatbelt. Do you have your license registration on you, ma'am? I'm sorry, is that, um, I'm sorry. I just took my seatbelt off. You didn't oh, have her on. Yes, I did. Mm -mm. Yes, I did. Mm -mm. Yes, I did. Mm -mm. You're gonna have to, <laughs> I just took it off. I wear my seatbelt. Actually, I, I yell at everybody for not wearing their seatbelt. Outstanding. Outstanding indeed, especially because this lady believes or pretends to believe traffic laws don't apply to her. So for her to say she badges other road users about their conduct is quite ironic, but not unexpected. But wait, it gets even better. Annie, do you have your license on you, ma'am? Um, no, I'm not going to do this this morning. <laughs> Dude, we're not from here. Don't, uh, I know you guys from here. Michigan, I saw the tag. Do you have your passport on you or some sort of ID? I left it at the fucking house. It's not even on me. Okay, no worries. I got mine. He's got his. Okay. Do you have I'm it? on my way to church right now. Okay. Thanks, man. Yep. Do you have? Do you actually have a, a DL? What do you mean? I don't need a driver's license in America, actually. Just yeah, to be honest with you, I don't. You? I've already won this in court. Fantastic. Okay, first of all, you're in the driver's seat operating a motor vehicle, so you obviously need a driver's license. And secondly, you guys really need to learn the difference between winning in court and getting a case dismissed because it would save you from so much ridicule. Yeah, I was definitely wearing my seatbelt. We'll have to subpoena those uh, videos. What's your first name, ma'am? Ma'am, what's your first name? What? Your first name? Did, but I'm trying to figure out what crime I committed for you to ask me that. Not wearing your seatbelt, ma'am. That's not a crime. That's a, It's a traffic a violation, ma'am. It's actually a civil infraction. <laughs> Which I can pull you over for, yes. Um, no, I was wearing my seatbelt, though. We're having a dispute here. We're I was wearing it, and you're saying We're having a dispute here. So, so here... You can't, you can't uh, tell me I was, wear, I was can not you, wearing it. Can you settle it. down for a second here? Here's, 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 here's how it's going to play out. I'm going to verify everything, and I'm just going to cut you a traffic warning and be on my merry way. That was my whole plan, just to be honest with you, not to get into a long, drawn out argument about whatever. I'm just going to verify that you have a license or whatever that says you can drive in the state of the United States. Once that's clean and valid, I'm out of here. That is my plan. Well, you know, I'm glad you find all this hilarious. The question is, though, will you still be laughing the same way when those two pair of handcuffs come out? I'm guessing not. All right. What's your first name, Mama? It's Dixie. Dixie. Miss Dixie. Okay. And your birthday? It's uh, it's in August. August what? 22nd. 22nd? Wow, I cannot wait to tell my professor this. Okay. And the year? You're right to travel guru slash scammy, you mean, because no actual professor would find arguing pseudo-law at the side of the road all that interesting. We have to do all this over Yeah, because... I don't have her DL or I don't a need passport. A DL, but I just told you, you that. need an I identification, though. Court. I won my DL case in the Supreme Court. She says, "Well, I mean, if you're gonna lie, you may as well make it a big one." Right. I don't, don't have, have to have, have a separate. Yeah. I don't have to. To have verify an your identity, yes, you do. No, I don't. That's okay, so whatever you say, but I need. What's your What's your your uh, date of birth? Oh, 82. 82? Okay. 82, 82. Here's my passport. Oh, perfect. 26. I was looking for my, my passport ID, but I only have my passport. All right, thank you, Miss Dixie. You're welcome. Also, um, by any chance, do you have the registration? Uh, this is my husband's truck. Okay. Do you have the registration or anything that has a VIN on it? 
Okay, we, okay we no do worries. Things different. I've, never, I've never been pulled over before. Okay. Honestly. I've never been pulled over before, he says, which shockingly turns out to be a lie. Yet she won her right to travel case in the Supreme Court. Do you guys even know what the word honestly means? <laughs> yeah, and I had my seatbelt on. Okay, hang on. So all she has is her passport. Well, the truck's not registered, so... It's not even registered? I can't even get anything back on the tag. There's nothing for it. It's not registered. Great. Okay. 51. Here's where we're at. Step out over here real quick. Found you. You don't have your license suspended. Out of oh, mine? Yeah. Can't find you. And we can't even find the truck. It's like it's not even registered. So I'm gonna run the VIN real quick. Yeah. yeah. I mean we That's have like access from we have access from away. we have access in the in the database of all the states, but I'm gonna run the VIN and see what we get. That's where we're at. Hello. What's going on? How's it going? This guy said he's gonna give us a fucking warning so we can get to church and we're about to be late. Yeah, unfortunately, There's whatever identification you guys are providing is not coming back. I don't know if I told you that. Uh, it's, it's a federal you can't ID. Find me. It's a federal ID. I understand that, but in, you guys need to have at I'm least a state ID. I'm actually in Homeland Security no. School. You don't I'm like what? going for my are bachelor's you associates? That's not true. What are you talking about? I understand that, but you are required to have a driver's no, license. No, you're not. Okay. That's right. Title 18, what Section 31, brother. I know what the he's I know a, what the words he's a lawyer. are. Okay. That's why we got a passport. It actually says on there to not detain. And I've, I've, I've been if, pulled over. If, if I'm correct, a few, a few different times, and never have a problem. It's always freaking for. Right, so let me get this straight. She's at Homeland Security School, which in itself is quite worrying, if true, if true. He's a quote-unquote lawyer who thinks Title 18, Section 31, a code that covers definitions surrounding aircraft, nullifies the driver's licence. He's never been pulled over before, but at the same time been pulled over a few different times and never had a problem. Like, we're going to believe that. Oh, and she thinks her passport says she can't be detained on a traffic stop. Got all that? Right, now on to the arrest. Miss Dixie. Miss Dixie. Okay. Yeah, we're not finding it at all. Well, I don't know what to tell you. They're on a paper system. Okay. <laughs> and what is this guy talking about? A, a passport isn't an identification. His formal identification is not a form for a licensed operating motor vehicle. Yeah, but we're not a resident of the state of Florida. You still have to have a licensed operating vehicle in the state of Florida. Okay. Go ahead, okay. Yusuf. I actually am getting my bachelor's associates and homeland security. That's what he's saying. Let me ask you Okay, first of all, that would be like calling somebody black in the inner. Yes, it is. Just ask me though, because that's a discriminating comment. You just asked me if I was a sovereign citizen. Everybody is a sovereign. Pretending to feel discriminated against is one thing, but comparing a racial slur to the term sovereign citizen has got to be a new law for these guys. Why? I would like the OIC. Why are you arresting me? Good, arrest me. I hope you arrest me. Call Kathy right now, get my attorneys on the phone. Go punch me. Okay. 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 I'm not resisting anything. You just pulled me backwards. Step inside, watch your head. I am pregnant. Can you fucking Sit move the handcuffs? It is the law. You cannot handcuff me behind my back. OK, first of all, that drop to the ground reminds me of the time Bell for Freedom, now who remembers her, dropped to the ground just as the cuffs were about to go on for causing complete chaos in a VA hospital with Johnny Five O. And secondly, I couldn't find a law that prevents police from cuffing pregnant women behind their back. I mean, that could be a policy in some departments, but since when did you start caring about the law when you ignore so many? Thanks, guys. All right. My guys are not being aggressive. Your wife is taking things up a notch, unfortunately. But and, and this is where this is where we're coming from. She doesn't have a driver's license. Okay. But she's not driving. No, she we're was she now, was right. driving. That's no, what I'm saying. I saw her drive. I'm telling you we're not driving. We're traveling. Okay, you're traveling. Whatever you want to call it. But she does not have a valid driver's license. What do you mean? What do you mean? The law in Chicago where you are from says you need a driver's license if you want to operate a vehicle on a public road. Florida also has a law that says you need a driver's license. It's not that hard to understand. Or it shouldn't be. You are being called. So here's the All deal. Right, now you're in charge of resisting. 
What? You're being charged resisting as well. I'm not putting up I the bullshit. I didn't resist. I was backwards. Put How could I left, resist? Put your left foot in. Not lawfully obeying to command. To? What is the first command? I told you to go to the car. Why would you Walk put me here. and detain me? Because you're being arrested. Put your left foot but in for now. what? I already explained to you. Operating a motor vehicle in the state of Florida without a flower That license. is not your... Auto, that is okay. not a vehicle. Watch your knee. Your My vehicle. passport says put do not side. detain me. Now that reminds me, I should start work on that top 10 car door slam in a soft six face video. Maybe it could work as a short or something, because we really do have some good ones to choose from now. Especially that hit and run guy in South Dakota. That was comedy gold. How the fuck does someone fit back here, really? Not very good. Buddy, let me ask you, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Yeah. Okay, let me ask you a question, okay? okay. Are you guys like sovereign citizens? No, of course not. Okay. We're just Americans that stand up for, you know, our rights. Okay, and I'm fine. I'm totally fine with that. Okay. I respect that by all means. It's okay. I don't mean to like insult you by asking that question. Okay. But the certain the certain language that was being used, it, it kind of had me like a little concerned. Okay. You guys are tra you guys are church. traveling, but yeah. you you guys you guys got to have a driver's license. Oh, you you oh, can not have please. a passport and stuff for ID purposes. You don't be in Florida. Yeah, it is for ID purposes. For ID purposes, but for driving a motorized yeah, vehicle in the states, you need a you need you, a traveling. You need a yes. you need a driver's license. You do not need a driver's license to travel. Yes, you do. Playing semantic word games might work with people online, but it doesn't work out here in the real world. But please don't let that stop you from trying because it's very entertaining for us. All right, ma'am. Have a female officer pat you down, make sure you don't have anything. Okay, this is an abuse of power, and it's not I an will abuse be. Of power. It's, it's okay, let her pat it's me our down. Policy. Let her pat me down. Right. You can go you ahead can and pat me down, ma'am. Right over here. There you go. I have the right to remain uh, silent, yes. and that's what I yes. used to do so from now on. You will not get my fingerprints, you will not get anything from okay. me. Do you have anything on you, guns, drugs? No, I don't have anything on me. Anything. Okay. Anything. I'm just pat you down go ahead. Do you have anything in your I don't have anything in my bra, but, okay, but my boobies. Sure. Oh my God, I cannot wait to file a lawsuit against the Eustis Police Department. You do not go to jail for traveling through the state of Florida. You need a driver's license. No, you do you not. No, I've vehicle. already won that with section and, and case law. God damn it, I'm in the Homeland Security store. Are you guys kidding me? I know. I could, so I could be a boss in another so three years. Yeah. I, it's in the middle of teaching me that okay. this crap is crap. Okay. Lies, lies, and even more lies. That's all you get from these guys. How can you tell? Well, her lips were moving. Tony, call Kathy. Tell her to get here now. My children are with somebody else, you stupid you idiot. Watch your head. I can't even believe you guys. Watch your knee. Some... What'd she do? So they're trying to walk her to the car, and she's yelling and screaming and purposely tripped herself down on the ground to make it look like we were being physical. Sovereign citizen? Yeah, the terms that they're using. Traveling. Traveling. I don't contract with the government. Um, we don't need a driver's license. We have our passports. You guys are like on your high horse, like authority type. The language is all there. Yeah, I noticed that. Sunday, people are supposed to be happy. Not her. She's, she's far from happy right now. Right, so now we find out the truth, or the nearest thing to it, regarding that so-called right to travel Supreme Court win. And yes, it's exactly what we all predicted, because of course it is. I need you to take her to the PD. She's in my car right now. Oh, she is? Yeah. Okay, all right. I mean, what Trade places then. Now, if you want to have the I'm truck, if you want the truck moved the church, to the church, you can do that with the, with the tow truck company, okay? Do what? Yeah, I'm gonna call the tow truck company, but I still don't want them to remove my... My, my plate, that's my metal, man. Come on. I have to. It's, what do you mean? It's, a, it's not assigned to the truck. You have to have the tag and the vehicle registered together. Show, but show me. Okay? If it's not registered, okay, you Can cannot you be driving that? this car. Can you show? I'm not driving. I'll have this one of my officers show you the statute, name. okay? You can show me the statute, but I've already won this. If you look up my wife's name mm -hmm. in the state of Florida, like two years ago, bro, we just went through this. Okay. In West Palm Beach. Look it up. Everything dismissed. She, they tried giving her like 38 tickets. How much you guys went out of that? Uh, I think I settled for about 25. 25 mil? Thousand. Thousand? No, I, come on. I don't, I don't do all that, that. I'm not a greedy person. I just oh, want yeah. people to know like where, where it's coming from. Now, it's not that I don't believe a word this guy says anymore. Nah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Because getting your case dismissed, which can happen for various reasons, is not the same as winning your case. And it certainly doesn't mean you can now ignore those same laws. 
I shouldn't really have to say this, but we are dealing with really special people here. You know, instantly you're like the sovereign citizen thing. That's where everybody always goes to that. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I looked it up. A sovereign citizen is just a, a peace officer, man. It's just a civilian. You know, and you're having a sovereign right because you're trying to protect people and all this and that, but there's no injured party here. No, there isn't. Nobody did anything to anybody or anything no, else. And I, no, and I and like you this. You claim that there wasn't a seatbelt. I said, you know, there was a seatbelt. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe the shades or something, you know, are seeing it. My wife's a little bit heftier. You know what I mean? So maybe you didn't see the, the strap, but she was wearing it, man. Right, so Dixie was arrested for driving without a license. His license was suspended too, so their vehicle was either towed or parked up somewhere. Failing to register a motor vehicle, resisting without violence and failing to sign a criminal citation because, of course, she refused. And her bond was set at $5,000. Right, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave me a like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. And please go give Officer Rogers a sub. Link is in the description. Thank you also to my channel members and patrons for your continued support. I really appreciate it. Right, take care all and I will catch up with you in the next video.